This overview will get you familiar with all of the features and layout of the Jupiter 80. The USB memory connector will allow you to playback audio, directly record audio passages, restore data, and make a complete backup of the contents of the Jupiter 80. By moving your hand over the D-beam, you can make changes to the pitch, volume, or other assignable parameters. The control section contains the arpeggiator, which allow you to play arpeggiated patterns to the lower part, upper part, or both. You can play one of the many preset patterns or import your own. The tempo button allows you to set the tempo. Visual Control allows you to control video equipment that supports MIDI Visual Control or V-Link. Harmony Intelligence adds harmony notes to the single notes you play on the upper part of the keyboard based on the chords you play on the lower part. There are several styles and parameters to choose from. The octave buttons raise or lowers the pitch of the sound by 12 semitone increments. The transpose button allows you to transpose the keyboard in semitone steps. The part buttons turn the individual parts on and off. These are also multi-leveled and able to turn on and off other elements of the sound. These multi-level sliders can control the volume of each part, individual tone levels of a live set, and amp levels of the partials. You can easily see and control the operation of the Jupiter 80 from the color touchscreen display. Edit parameters like cutoff or tone blender by turning the four knobs. To assign parameters to the knobs, press Registration Edit, Common Control, Knobs S1, S2. Select which knob to assign, then press Enter to see the list. Now select the parameter. Pressing the menu button allows you to access settings for the overall system of the Jupiter 80, restore or backup settings from USB memory, and other important functions. Shift is used in conjunction with other buttons to access settings screens related to these buttons. You can quickly edit the value of parameters or change their settings by turning the dial. The increment decrement buttons can also be used. The enter button confirms a value, executes an operation, or displays a list. Pressing the exit button returns you to the previous screen, closes an open window, or cancels an operation. This button simultaneously turns on or off the reverbs of the live sets and the reverb of the registration. The USB Song Player Recorder allows you to instantly play back WAV, AIF, or MP3 files copied from your computer or record single passages to the connected USB flash memory. Convenient control functions of the Jupiter 80 can be assigned to the S1 and S2 buttons. The bender allows you to modify the pitch, modulation, and other parameters. The rotary sound on-off button turns off the rotary effect assigned to the MFX of the live set. The fast-slow button switches the rotation of the rotary speaker effect between slow and fast. These buttons select between the tone arrangement of the manual percussion and the drum kits. These category buttons allow you to select the live sets for the lower part. The Others button allows you to have access and select all of the other tone categories to the lower section. The Alternate button allows you to store another tone choice for each category. This is great for quick tone access during live performances. The lower split button quickly establishes the split point between the upper and lower parts. The upper part category buttons act exactly as the lower part. However, they assign the live set to the upper part. There is an alternate button as well and an others button for access to all tone categories. The solo part category buttons act the same as the lower and upper sections. There is a solo part split button that establishes the split point between the upper and solo parts. The previous and next buttons access the registration sets. The registration banks are selected by the bank buttons A through D, while the numbers 1 through 8 selects the registration within the bank.